Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Um, my apologies, it's been so long since I've uploaded a new video. Uh, unfortunately, I've been really, really busy um, just with life and work and uh, car problems as, uh, as I'm sure we can all sympathise with stuff like that. Um, but yeah, here we are with another video. Now, this one's kind of a request. Um, I've had a couple of um, people actually ask for this video and ask for a little bit of advice, so I thought I'd address it in this, this one. Um, before I go into that, can I just say thank you for uh, my new subscribers. I've got, I've got a few new subscribers since uh, since my last video, which is fantastic. I've also had a lot of comments, a lot of input, a lot of nice messages, um, a few trolly ones as well, but we have to live with that um, since my last video. So I really, really appreciate that, guys. Um, obviously, any input, any feedback you can give me is really, really good, really helpful helps me out and tells me uh, sort of what you like to hear about and, and gives me new ideas for, for new videos. But without further ado, let's, let's crack on with today's. Now, what I want to talk about today is urges. Um, I've had a few people ask me about this. I've had a few people ask me, um, well, I say a few, I've had a couple. Um, but, you know, I've only got 70 subscribers, you know, go easy. Um, you know, I've had a couple of people ask me, how, how do I deal with urges? What's the best way to deal with, with urges when they, they strike? Now, there's some good news and some bad news. The good news, I would say, is that urges do subside in time. I would say they, I, I don't know, um, I haven't been clear of gambling for that long, but I would say that over time, urges become less and less frequent. They will still rear their ugly heads every now and then, so you do have to be on your guard, but they do become less and less frequent as time goes by. I don't believe, from what I've heard and what I've spoken to other people about, that they ever disappear completely. So learning how to react to urges, how to deal with urges, still remains very, very important. The bad news is there is really no way of uh, eliminating urges. There, <laughs> Whilst there are drug trials, there are suppressants for, for dopamine and stuff like that that are in trial, none of them are effectively available in the UK, certainly at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably avoid going down the medication route anyway. I believe if you are able to gamble when the urge strikes, then you've been unsuccessful in the one of the early stages of recovery, which is putting blocks in place and ensuring that when the urges strike, you're not able to gamble. Now, I've said, and I will, will reiterate, and I would accept that no form of block gambling block, no uh, no number of blocks that you put in place will ever make it 100% watertight and, and completely impossible for you to gamble. If you have enough time on your hands, and if the urges are that strong, it is feasible that you may find a way around your blocks. Blocks buy you thinking time, they buy you time for contemplation, and sometimes they make it significantly difficult for you to gamble that the urge will subside before you actually get the chance to do any damage. So yes, if you are, have an urge and you're able to gamble fairly easily, um, without too much difficulty, then you need to get more blocks in place. And that is the time to do it. As I've spoken to you before, the gambling hangover is often the time to get blocks in place and to do something proactive to prevent future gambling. But urges and relapses are another great opportunity to get further blocks in place, to do more, to stop with, you know, the same thing happening next time you have an urge. So no, you can't, you can't really suppress urges. What you can do is, when an urge strikes, keep yourself busy. In an ideal world, that is keeping yourself busy, putting more and more blocks in place. If your blocks are already pretty watertight, then just keep yourself busy doing something else. Get in the car, set yourself a target for somewhere to drive. You know, then you're driving, you can't gamble. Just basically get yourself out of a situation where you're able to gamble and go and do something else. Go to the pub. Assuming there's no fruit machines, or maybe fruit machines aren't your thing, um, or you've put the blocks in place before, I've told you, when you tell the landlord, you tell the regulars, you know, that you're not gambling and that you don't want to look like a fool, then do something. Just get out from the place where you're able to gamble and go and do something else until the urges subside. But if you are able to gamble when you have urges, like I say, use that time, use that motivation, use that that sort of that sense, in a way, to, to go and do something proactive to further prevent your abilities to gamble. Um, sorry it's been a bit of a short video. Um, like I say, in an ideal world, I'd come out here and I would tell you, yes, if you have an urge to do something, you know, sorry, if you have an urge to gamble, then this is what you should do. You should do X, Y, Z, and this will stop you gambling. I can't promise that. All I can say is do something, and if you are having an urge and you are, you find yourself drawn to a form of gambling which you can access, then, make sure there's a block in place for next time that urge strikes. Use that, that time to put a block in place there. If you want to know more about blocks, I've done a few videos on them. Have a, have a scroll through my other videos. I will surely do more videos because it's, I believe, the most important part of gambling recovery. 
Um, thanks again for my new subscribers. Thanks again for your comments. And uh, yeah, if you if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it. And the channel's growing slowly, but it will do. It's a it's a it's a gambling addiction channel. It's not uh, unfortunately it's a not slot not slot streaming channel. Um, so therefore, I shall never be a, a wealthy man. <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you can. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I, I really look forward to catching you on the next one. I promise it won't be so long next time. See you soon.